It's very early on uh, Sunday morning. The sunrise is beginning. We try and focus that a little bit better. That's it. And the sky is starting to turn red. There's almost a purple hint to it. Planes coming in. T throw. They're relentless, the planes. They just don't stop. If I gently move you round in that direction, you can see them coming in. Those two bright lights, they sort of form a queue on the approach. There's another one coming round. And they sort of have to circle over central London. The approach when you're coming into Heathrow is, uh, is quite spectacular because you see all the landmarks. That glow has gone, it's kind of a little bit there in the distance, but this is what I do when I'm on the lookout for a sunrise. I sort of monitor it, because you never know when it's going to be spectacular. But it is very cool out there this morning. You can see that it's a little bit hazy. Let's turn that brightness down, get the colours come through. There's a little bit of condensation, not too bad. Well, you can see frost on the rooftop opposite. You can tell which roofs have got good insulation, can't you? Look, that one there. It's frost free, she's losing heat. What does ours look like? Let's open the window. Oh yeah, we've got frost. Yeah, it's very cold. Look at that tree. Already noisy. You can hear traffic and planes. It's about quarter past seven, I think. And it's a Sunday morning, I mean, you know, there shouldn't be any noise, but London's always noisy. Well, the sky's brightened up a little bit. It's quite pretty out there, even though it's cold. That building in the distance is Glaxo's, Glaxo Smith Klein which apparently are moving. Okay, better get on. We've got a podcast to record for our coffee supporters. Woo! Yes, it's Sunday morning. Sunday morning, and I'm feeling like vlogging today. Yesterday was quite busy. Um... And I, I don't know, I feel slightly energised this morning. I think it's probably because I had a good night's sleep, which I really needed. And this morning we are just about to video our, uh, what's it called? What's the word? Podcast for our coffee supporters. That's right. If you support us on coffee, you get extra bonus content.
<laughs> I know. And I just wanted to show you how we do it. We use a voice recorder. I bought this a few years ago. It's um, an Olympus voice recorder. This tiny little rechargeable device is absolutely superb. It's got three microphones on top, two there that you can see, and then there's a third one in the center. So it really catches sound well. Um, and we just stick it on a tripod, press record, that's it. Easy to do. When we first did podcasts, which was a few years ago, we did a series um, on SoundCloud. I think they're still available, but it's on a different provider now. I think the link's in the description. Um, we had to do it on the laptop, so I had to set up microphones, um, pop shields. Um, I had to have the laptop in a different room because it made so much noise. It was such a faff to do, it really was. But with this little gorgeous machine, we can just do it straight away, easily. So yeah, we're about to do that. I'm still in my uh, dressing gown and oody. I know, I'm lazy with a scarf on. So what's in store for me today? Podcast, change the bedding, put clothes away, may put another small wash on. I've got to, oh, nose is running. The obligatory running nose. It's cold this morning, which makes it worse. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, vacuuming, dusting, putting clothes away. I've said that already. I'm going to start putting these vlogs together because what I've decided to do is start putting each one onto the computer as I do it each each day, in the evening, probably after work. Just to make the process a little quicker. That's what Paul does with his week at the plot. Uh, he does them daily, puts them onto the computer and edits them. Um, then it's less work to do when it comes to the weekend. I also need to have a bath, wash my hair, I bought some new hair products, I think I mentioned it. So I want to try those out. Uh, styling products, leave-in conditioner. My hair can take a little bit of extra weight. So I'm looking forward to trying those. I actually put a bit of the leave-in conditioner on last night. So my hair's feeling very coated. But that's okay, my hair can take it. Uh, yeah. Bath and hair wash, uh, general tidy around. I need to clear out the fire because it's full of a lot of ash. We had a fire all day yesterday. I kept it going. Small, but kept it going. So there's a build up of ash and I need to let that cool down completely before it goes into the bin. Usually what I do is I have a ceramic pot from the garden and I put it by the fireplace so I can decant the ashes even if they are warm and then they can sit outside and cool down before I dispose of them. So yeah there's still a few things to do today um, but next week is a four-day week which is good. Sorry about the lighting. It's hard to control on the phone. Yeah it's a four-day week next week so I think we're hoping to get out and about on Friday if the weather is willing um, yeah, that's it. So if I've got anything else to say, I'll bring you along with me today. Otherwise, bye for now. So I just wanted to show you. I'm at work. And we were talking about, you know, how dark it gets. I mean, this is, believe it or not, two... 35 in the afternoon. It's so dark that the street lights have come on. You can see there. So, so dark today. Just absolutely crazy. 
<sighs> this is what happens on a dull day in the UK at this time of year. Good evening, it's Monday evening. It's bitterly, bitterly cold tonight. It's one of those nights that you really wouldn't want to get caught out in. Wet and just freezing. I think we're going to have a frost and there may be some ice tonight. First thing I did when I got in was make a fire. Which is now warming up very nicely. Uh, Paul's making dinner. And I think we're having something from the freezer. Yeah, just been so dark today. Just unbelievably dark and damp and horrible. Blah. I used to like winter <clears throat> in the days when we could afford to have the heating on all day long without worrying. Now it only goes on at certain times. You know, I posted that photograph on social media of the house on, I think it was Sunday morning and the house was 10 degrees inside without the heating on. Even with the heating on, it only gets to about 14, 15 maximum. We would have to have the heating on all day long to reach any kind of reasonable temperature in the whole house. I mean, obviously, you've got certain parts of the house which do get quite warm. The top of the house, the attic room, that's well insulated because it's much newer than the rest of the house. Um, so that retains its heat quite well. Um, but, you know, the rest of the house, it takes ages to heat up. Um, and, you know, the other day, I think we spent about £10 in one day on gas and electric. I mean, it's just, you, you know, it can't be sustained at that level on the money we earn. So, you know, I said recently that I wasn't going to be as cold um, this year as we were, but it looks as though we have no choice. And the prices are going up in January again. So, you know, it's miserable. Absolutely miserable. I think it's just criminal that the companies are getting away with charging so much. Just criminal. What can you do? Go out on a march? Well, what difference is that going to make? You know? I think the problem with people in general now is this sort of apathy that has sort of, what's the word, taken over the country. You know, the companies say they're going to put the prices up or whatever and people go, oh God, what can we do? I mean, if everybody were to sort of rise up and, I don't know, go on strike or, I don't know, turn everything off for a, a day. Maybe people would listen, you know, because if everybody turned their gas and electric off for a day, that's surely going to have a, an impact on profits. Mind you, everybody would then have to have their heating on for a whole day to warm their houses back up. Somebody at work said to me, oh, I keep mine on low all day. We couldn't do that. I don't think it would make any difference. These are the things you have to put up with when you live in a, a very old house that's drafty and you have sky high prices. It's painful. Anyhow, I'm just complaining now, aren't I? I'm just whinging on and on. And that's not probably why you've come. You've come for entertainment. So I'm now going to take all my clothes off and dance around the front room. Not really. 
have a good evening. I'll see you tomorrow. It's, uh, what day is it? Tuesday morning. And it's very cold morning. I'm off at the top of the house wiping condensation off the windows. This is outside the window because I've done inside. But as you can see, there is a very bright moon. I'm going to open the window and see if I can get a close-up for you. Here goes. There we go. Took a little bit of a while to get sorted, but there we are. Full moon this morning. Not bad. I'm going to shut this window now because it's very cold. Sorry for not keeping it too still. But I don't think that's a bad vision. It's Tuesday evening. Thank goodness Tuesday is over with. Traditionally, Tuesday is a very busy day at work. Today was no exception, but it wasn't frantic, which I'm very pleased to report. In fact, this week so far is not particularly frantic. Thank goodness. But I can tell you right now that it's very, very cold outside, extremely cold. In fact, when I got in, my face was numb. It was so cold. So I immediately got to work, built a fire. It's glowing away in the hearth. Warming up, warming the room up. It's very much needed tonight. In fact, last night, what I did was I put a few extra coals on before we went to bed, which kind of means it's still warm in the morning. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a raging furnace, but it takes the chill off the room. And the room is acceptably warm rather than completely and utterly freezing, <sighs> which it normally is, because it, it's open. That's the thing about this room. It's an open fireplace. There is no closure. Um, the chimney sweep recommended that we stuff a black bin liner with newspaper and push it up into the into the hole. Um, but we haven't done that. I mean, it's not the most practical solution because where do you put that when you've got a fire on? I used to have a piece of cardboard that I used to slide in that would just cover it. Um, so I may have to go back to doing that. In fact, years ago, I had a piece of board that perfectly fitted the area. But again, you've got to put that somewhere in the house and very often it's covered in bits of soot and goodness knows what. Mind you, having said that, now we've got the cowl fitted there should be less instances, fewer instances of bird poop coming down the chimney, which is a good thing. So, yeah, my week is going well. I'm kind of enjoying things this week. I don't feel as stressed as I did last week, which is good. Paul was meant to be going to a writing group tonight, but that's been cancelled due to a lack of heating in the library. I thought they were meant to be making libraries warm spaces for people. They can't be having the heating breaking down in those public spaces, can they? Ugh. No. Anyhow, have I got anything else to report? I don't think so. No. That's it. We're going to hunker down for the evening and snuggle up, watch some TV, have something to eat. And yeah, that's it. Hope you're all well. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Good evening. Welcome to another evening's vlog, daily vlog. That's right, with me, Richard. Not sure why I've said that, but Paul is in the room too, so maybe I was simply giving him a, an introduction. 
because he doesn't watch my bloody vlogs. Do you, Paul? No. no. Are you in shot there? I don't know. I've oh, got I my don't. reading glasses on. He's there. He's reading. And what are you reading this evening, Pa? The House of Silk. The House of Sin. Silk. Silk. Anthony Horowitz. Oh, how lovely, Paul. But I did pick up today. Oh, what have you picked up today? Let's just see, shall we? Show the people. Oh. Praise be to the Lord. <laughs> Praise be to Jesus. Not really. And I also saw in the charity shop a copy of the Owl Service. You saw a copy of the Owl Service? Yeah. Well, funnily enough, I'm working on that at the moment. I'm just about to make some notes for our read along, which will be on the 10th of December at 1600 hours GMT. It'll be a live show, completely live and fully naked. Yay. Not really, not really. Get your so, out. I'm not getting my BAPS out for anybody, Paul. Thank you very much. Not that I have BAPS these days. I think I'm. Slightly flatter now. I've got enough for you. I think you've got enough for everybody, Paul. <laughs> so it is Wednesday evening and it's another cold one, although it's going to be colder, apparently, on Friday and Saturday. And we've got a little fire going as well. There we are, another fire, another day, another fire. And another few dollars down the drain. Yeah. What can you do? <laughs> so today, today at work, I was not in a great mood today. I just wasn't in the mood for it. And uh, I was sort of stressing about a few things. And yeah. But hey-ho, it's just one of those days. But it wasn't particularly too challenging at work. And this week has been a bit easier, as I said yesterday. There isn't an awful lot to report. Uh, we are hoping, fingers crossed, to go out on Friday. So if we do, we'll take you along for the ride. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to settle down, do a little bit of note making on the owl service, preparing. Um, and then we'll be eating and then settling down for any evenings of an evening of television again. How lovely, these long winter evenings. Yeah, just the same as the long summer evenings, really, if I think about it. <laughs> That's life, isn't it, though? You know, you work hard, you need to relax. That's the way it goes. So, bye for now. See you tomorrow. Morning. It's Thursday morning and it's bloody cold. Really cold this morning. There's quite a heavy frost and it's looking very dark out there. I was awake at about half five because some person was in the street in a van doing things. I have no idea what they were doing, but they were making noise. Lots of condensation on the bedroom, windows. So I was wiping windows first thing. Just so cold. It's about 11 degrees in the house at the moment. Um, I've got the heating on, but that just takes forever. So I've had a little blast from the uh, ceramic heater this morning. And I'm on my second cup of tea. So, yeah. Welcome to winter, and it's going to be even colder tonight and tomorrow, I believe, and Saturday. So it's a real cold snap um, and quite unusual for this time of year, although I think last year we had, I think, a little cold snap around the 10th, 11th of December, I think. But yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's typical, isn't it, that the past, this year and last year, have been so cold so early, and we've had all these issues with high bills, you know, it's typical. 
bloody typical. So yeah, but the reason to be joyful today is that it's my final day of work for the week. Off tomorrow, hopefully getting out tomorrow. I've said that already three times now. <sighs> we better get out tomorrow, I tell you. I need it. I need a, a walk and some different scenery. I don't mind if it's not too far. Um, but I think we're going to make the effort, maybe take a little snack and a flask of hot tea with us. So we'll see. Anywho. You can see that the cars have got quite a layer of frost on them. Cold and dark still. So you can see the rooftops. Got quite a bit of frost on them. I'm not opening the window, it's just too cold this morning. And there's no sign of any colour in the sky. There's no sunrise beauty this morning, it's just bitterly cold. Anywho, see you later. Hello, good morning, it's Friday morning. My hair is flat because I've just been wearing a hat. Oh, that's almost a poem. Did you see a cat? And I didn't see a cat. And you couldn't give it a pat. But we were walking on the flat. Not very good. And I'm getting fatter. Wow. Yeah, you could do that. And I'm getting fatter. Da, 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 da. And then it sounds all like sophisticated. Whatever. Stop now. So it's Friday morning and we've just got in from a lovely winter walk down the canal. The Grand Union, our local canal. I'm sure many of you have seen previous videos and photographs. I don't know why that came out like that. Photographs of the canal in previous posts, but we thought we'd take you along for the ride, for the walk, with us down a very, very cold, cold, wintry canal. Not any snow as yet in London, but to be honest with you, the sky kind of looks very grey, and I think if it were to try and rain, it may fall as snow. But who's to know? There, I did it again. Whoops, I did it again. In the words of Brittany. <laughs> oh, gosh. Welcome. Welcome to the home of Richard and Paul. Well, I hate it when people go, Oh, I'm mad. I'm completely mad, you know. Our house is mad. And it's not really, you know. Anyway, what is madness? What is sanity? These are big questions. Anyway, here's some highlights from today's walk. I do hope you enjoy them. Thank you. Goodbye. So I just said, when I was filming my little intro for the winter walk, that I felt as though it if it tried to rain, it would fall as snow. And I don't know whether you can see, there is a little bit of snow, a little tiny bit of snowfall. You can barely see it. It is trying to snow. And it's probably stopped now by the looks of things. We're out and about for a walk on our local canal, the Grand Union. 
and there are a few swans here, little swan family. Beautiful. So this area with where the chimney is and that building, it's all part of an industrial estate. There's Paul in the distance, can you spot him? Let's get a walk on, it's very cold, very very cold. The sun is just trying to get through up there. Let's get walking. Bye Swan. Sun's just making it through, just about shining on the water. It's quite nice at this time of day because everybody's gone to work, kids are at school, so there's hardly anybody on the canal. Just us and the birds. This is a fairly quiet stretch here. But all around are areas of industry. It's a little bit of blue sky. It's nice. All the rushes. Sun is trying again. There's still quite a lot of autumn colour. Ooh, it's a lovely sun. That's beautiful. Yeah, there are still quite a few leaves on the trees. Beautiful. What are you pointing out? Oh, it's like a pond. Sun is really bright now. That's the only thing about this time of year. The sun is in your eyes if you're walking towards it. And it's very low in the sky. Oop, it's nearly tripped over. Paul's just found this sculpture in the wood. He says it's the King of Hearts. Oh, hmm, there you go. You never know what you never know what you might find down in the woods. Why well, I'd rather not find a body pool. Great fun, yeah. I don't think so, but it is beautiful. Sun's gone in again. It's rather lovely though. A wild wood. Now if you can hear a lot of noise in the background, you've got an industrial estate plus the M4, which I don't know whether you can see those vehicles going along. This is the bridge over the canal where the graffiti is, which I've taken photographs of many times. Let's have a, a walk along. 
careful where I'm standing. Hello, swans. That one's asleep. Two. Three? Two. Hello, swans. Look at those two asleep, fast asleep. Beautiful. I love graffiti. I really do. I know some people hate it, but this is always quite interesting to look at. Let me pan around and brighten things up. Wow, such colour, beautiful. You can hear the vehicles passing overhead. And then on this side, just as colourful. Quite eerie that sound, isn't it? It's almost like the sea, waves crashing. This little one's going for a ride on a piece of wood. <laughs> so yeah, this is the M4 coming out of London, very busy. And this bridge coming up is the underground, except it's overground. You can hear there's a lot of background noise in this area. The throb of the city. Ooh. Don't know whether you saw that, don't know whether it was light enough. Paul thinks he may have found another sculpture, so he's going to investigate. It's not, and I've just got muddy and cold and damp. That's why you should be wearing your walking boots. Really? This used to be my favourite view of this section of the canal. You do have an industrial estate, a sort of, I don't know, quarry or something, I don't know what it is. And this view used to be just gorgeous, but look what they've done. They put that dirty great green netting or whatever it is up there, clearly because they have to, but oh, just completely spoils the view. What a shame. Dirty great green reflection in the canal.
loving these colours, the last bits of autumn. They look gorgeous in the sunshine. I have to be careful where I'm walking because these paths are so uneven. They're not very well maintained. Hello, squirrel. Bye, squirrel. Here we are back at the underground bridge. Overground, underground, wumbling free. I wonder if we can get a train to go past. It's the Piccadilly line, which goes straight into the West End. Typical really because when you want a train to come along, one won't. You can usually hear them on the rails. Here we go. There we are. I think they're about every two or three minutes, something like that. Really feels and looks wintry now. I know that's a silly thing to say because it is winter, but it really seems to have come on quickly this year. Huh? Oh yeah. Yeah, they've abandoned their bit of wood now. I think they enjoyed the ride. I was just saying it feels very wintry already. Okay. It's a nice shape. Let's carry on. There's a heron. There goes the heron. The swans have woken up. Hello swans. Hope you had a lovely sleep. They're all preening now. Lesson. Stay safe, swans. God, this surface is so, so uneven. Let's have a little wander into the wood. Carpet of gold. There's always litter as well. Always litter. People just drop stuff. Look at that beautiful tree. Gorgeous. 
And those beautiful trees as well. Gorgeous. How lovely. Ooh. A single red berry. focus on it. No. Too close. Oh. Breezy. Cold, cold breeze. stepped off the canal path onto the yellow brick road. I always think of the yellow brick road when I see this path because it's yellow. And it sort of curves around through this little wooded hill. What's that? Old man's beard. There have been some winters where it's really not felt like winter until sort of mid to late December. And there have been some Novembers when the leaves have stayed on the trees till quite late. But this year winter seems to have come in with a vengeance. It's really bitterly cold now, I have to say. My fingertips are, are frozen. I've got two pairs of gloves on. But we really needed to get out. This is a little bit of a hill. As we reach the top, we can see the industrial estate with its units. Next to the canal, it's called Trumper's Way. Trumper's Way Industrial Estate. Just see the canal down there. If I lift you up. See the crane in the distance. The final crane. From the development that's sort of at the end of our road. I always think this area looks like a sort of amphitheater, like a natural amphitheater 
we look down. down the steps, back onto the canal. Check the bikes, and we're good. where we started coming off the canal and I think it's time to frankly have a wee and a coffee so we're heading back home so thanks for watching see you later Saturday morning, it's grey, cold and slightly damp. What a pleasure to be in winter. I've got my little ceramic heater on in the front room here. I've just been doing a few bits and pieces, preparing this whole video, uh, editing, a uh, couple of photos, a couple of posts. So yeah, Got a wash on as well, and today is going to be a few chores. We've got to film Sunday chat shortly, get that done. I've got to do something with my hair. It really needs a wash, and I need a bath as well. So, yeah. But it's very foggy and grey and very wintry. It's been a wintry week. We're in winter, Richard. That's normal. <laughs> Anywho, nothing else to report other than a busy day ahead. Just got to get on with it. Yeah, get moving, create some warmth because it's very cool in the house. The heating's gone off now. And I think it's about nine or ten degrees in the house. Hurrah! <laughs> yeah. Shocking, huh? That's the way it is. C'est la vie. So, thank you so much for watching this week's daily vlogs. I do hope you've enjoyed them and I am very appreciative of your support. So, oh, big fan. Hello, Paul. Paul's just bringing me a cup of tea. Well, a huge mug of tea, actually. Just what's needed for that personal central heating. Hot drinks. Lots of clothes. Wrap up. I'd rather not, but that's just the way things are. So anyway, yes, thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it and thank you. Goodbye. Until Sunday chat. <laughs>